Speed Skating Canada has fired the head coach of Canada's long track speed skating team. Michael Crow went on a leave of absence a month before the Pyeongchang Olympics while the organization conducted an internal investigation into alleged relationships he had with skaters while he was a coach with the U.S. team. Crow did not accompany the Canadian team to South Korea. Canadian speed skaters lose head coach to leave of absence Speed Skating Canada didn't specify the nature of its investigation. Former American speed skaters claimed last January that Crow had sexual relationships with some skaters while a U.S. The 64-year-old from Butte, Montana, was a coach on the American team from 1983 to 1991 and again from 1999 to 2006 before joining the Canadian team. Following a review of the investigation completed in mid-March, Speed Skating Canada has made the decision to part ways with Mr. Crow, Speed Skating Canada said Friday in a statement, given confidentiality obligations, no further details will be provided on this matter. Our athletes, coaches, office staff and volunteers deserve and expect to train and compete in an atmosphere of security, respect and professionalism, sustaining the reputation of Speed Skating Canada. The management of Speed Skating Canada is committed to moving forward and rebuilding trust with its membership and community through open communication and responsive policies. Promoted to head coach in 2015, Crow began working with the Canadian team based at the Olympic Oval in Calgary in 2007. He was promoted to head coach in 2015. Speed Skating Canada's Code of Conduct, which has been in place since 1999, states that coaches at no time become intimately and or sexually involved with their athletes. This includes requests for sexual favors or threat of reprisal for the rejection of such requests. SSC Chief Executive Officer Susan Ach, a two-time Olympic silver medalist, would not say whether Crow had violated the organization's code of conduct. I can't speak to the specifics of Mr. Crow's investigation. What I can say is his action was not consistent with SSC values, Och told the Canadian press, I can't say specifically which values and policies, but those were taken into account when the decision was made, and the decision was made fairly quickly as soon as we received the report results, the decision was made entirely based on communication from our Canadian athletes and coaches, messages left with Pro were not immediately returned. Uch was voted president of SSC in 2016 and moved out of that position into chief executive officer last year. The organization is in the process of hiring a new head coach for the long track team, and Och said candidates will be intensively vetted. This was a hire that was done a decade ago, she said of Crow, before adding, the most important thing is the environment that our athletes, coaching staff and volunteers get to participate in. It needs to be an atmosphere of security and respect and professionalism, we will do everything we can to find out whatever we can about anybody that is coming onto our staff.